What's good, YouTube? We back again with another animated fucking horror st story series bullshit, whatever you want to call it. We back again with another one of those, bro. I decided to give it another chance because, you know, the first one was just dumb. And this is a different person. Lima Arts. I can just tell by the name that this is not scary and I just know the whole plot is dumb. It gots to be. I picked this. This was six days ago. All the other videos that had heavy views, this, this the videos was like an hour long, two hours long. I'm not for the watch that, boy. Is you crazy? No, I'm saying so. Uh, I'm done talking. Let's watch this video, boy. I had just reluctantly returned home from an extended vacation trip to Japan. After experiencing delicious food beyond compare, a beautiful country, and spending Nigga, time with amazing shit. people, needless to say, I was a bit depressed about coming home. On my first day back home, I went straight to my bedroom and passed out before doing anything else. Rather, I didn't have the energy to do anything else. It was probably for that reason that I failed to notice subtle hints that my home was not as lonely without me as I believed. Hours later, I awoke in the middle of the night to the sound of scuttling noises and the floorboards creaking. Understandably confused, I got out of bed and made my way into the hallway that was connected to both the living room and kitchen. Cautiously, I crept my way through the darkness, groping the wall next to me for balance in my tired state as I trudged forward. Well, I, however, made the fatal mistake. If he hears something in his career, he's gonna get out his bedroom with no weaponry. What? You just asking to get eliminated, ain't it? Dude, bruh, bruh, come on, cuz. Stake of stepping onto one of the loudest boards in the hallway, alerting whoever or whatever was lurking in the shadows of the next room. I paused, as did the entity in the next room, before a whoosh of air was heard as they retreated into whatever crevice they had come out of. Taking a nervous gulp of air, I walked into the living room and turned on the nearby Nigga, lamp the that dimly got? lit up the room. A little lamp in the big lamp Looking where the around, I spotted not a soul, but rather some of my furniture was disturbed. What's more, a couple of my kitchen cabinets were slightly ajar. Bewildered, but with my guard up, I went over and closed them all before readjusting my furniture, by which point I had relaxed. I chalked up the odd noises and movements to my jet-lagged brain and shrugged, deciding to just head back to bed. I wish the story ended there, but I was not so lucky. Before entering the hallway to my room, I saw that the large metal covering to the air vent above the couch was missing. Peering up at it, I mumbled, what the? Before a crooked face filled with abject disdain for my existence popped into view. Startled, I fell to the ground and began crawling away, as I heard the man begin screeching incoherently as he Let dropped down screech, onto the couch. I watched in horror as Let his joints cracked screech. beneath his raggedy hoodie and heavily stained jeans. Yeah, I, wanted, I wanted to hear that, cuz. I wanted to see if you had some good-ass actors to do it for you. This shit is not scary. Motherfucker got four fingers. Man, I would have instantly shot the shit out of cuz. Boy, with no hesitation. Motherfucker tell my speed. <laughs> Jump down and crawl back. What, nigga? He would have either been shot or stabbed. And y'all know I've been practicing my... <laughs> yeah, boy. Nigga getting cut. I'm basically fighting for my life. Gotta come out on top. He stared at me, silent now, before brandishing a knife out of his back pocket and pointed it towards me. My house now! Mine! Mine! You left it! It's mine! He shouted with a slurred voice as he charged towards me. I hurriedly crawled towards my room and slammed the door behind me and locked it what? as he started jabbing his blade into the door, yelling at me to die. Shakily, I called the police and sobbed as I told them what was happening. 
Thankfully, I was told a patrol car was nearby my neighborhood, and they would be at my house in minutes. Well, fucking cow. I stayed on the phone and picked up a Man, baseball bat just in case that bat. deranged... You should have had it when you went to go be curious George, nigga. So when he would have came into my house... <laughs> Motherfucker turned into Bay Roof in the living room. It's a blade versus a bat. I'm coming out on top. I'm I might have to take a few stabbings. She I'ma get mine. I ain't gonna feel it no way with my adrenaline pumping. But after it, oh that's gonna be a motherfucker after it though. Yeah, that shit gonna hurt. Nigga crying, yeah. <laughs> This nigga, <laughs> this nigga cry. Look at this nigga's face. He on the phone. What the fuck you cry for? He's in your house, bro. You have the right to kill him because you're going to get away with the killing. Self-defense. Down my door. A few horrendous minutes later. The police arrived, and after a quick but violent struggle, they managed to subdue the intruder. After locking him in the back seat of the patrol car, the cops investigated my house and found that the man apparently had been living there while I was gone. But not just that. Apparently, he'd been staying at my house without me noticing for a few months. According to the police, they found paper stuffed under the couch that was filled with nothing but incoherent ramblings about how he planned to kill me one day when the time was right. With the dates next to each entry predating my trip to Japan Nigga by an uncomfortable... He could have eliminated you in your sleep. Now that's some scary shit. Nigga, I'm sleep, motherfucker. Eliminate me? Nigga, really? Nigga living in my crib and I don't know? That's some scary shit, but I wasn't scared, though. I laughed. ...full amount of time. Frankly, I'm happy to be alive and relieved that the situation was resolved so quickly. How the police get this nigga like this? You could have did the same thing. You mean to tell me this police officer went in your crib, grabbed this nigga. He said it was a little struggle, and so they was in that motherfucker fighting and shit. He managed to win, and your bitch ass was scared to hit him with the back. He been living in your vent, eating up your food, pissing in your motherfucking meat toilet, bathing in your kitchen, and you couldn't do, you didn't hear him? He been listening to you perform, nah, you ain't performing, nigga. You ain't fucking cracking that, nah, 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 I'm talking about some heat depressed to go back home. Now I see why. You ain't cracking shit. Wasn't cracking shit in Japan neither. But still, I make sure to triple check the locks in my home after that little incident. Well, I love how y'all try to put scary music to make the shit scary when this shit is not scary. But at least the story made more sense than what the fuck I just watched with that sonic shit. Know what I'm saying? Look, when I pick the video, it makes sense, though. But when I click a video that you niggas sent me, it's the dumbest shit in history. You niggas be trolling. Look at the comments, nigga. He collabing with niggas. I'll never forget over the first... Man, shut your bitch ass up. I miss the good old days with Mr. Nightmare. That was really, look at this, look at this, y'all. That was really terrifying. It kind of left me a bit shaken. By the way, I really missed you. I'm glad you're back. The animation, the story, the narration, everything is so good. With a fucking doofenshmirtz profile picture. This better not be a dude behind this comment, bro. Man, this better not be a male behind this comment, cuz.
This shit was terrifying. It left you a bit shaken. So you mean to tell me you at the crib shaking up? You scared and shit at the crib and shit though? The guy turned his house to an Airbnb. Honestly, this one actually freaked me out with the scare. Glad he's safe. And the police managed to catch this guy this time. Like this is some real shit. Bruh, get this shit off my screen, bruh. The comments always be lying, bruh. Like this shit is real or something. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe if you're new, cuz. And I'm gone, bruh.